Hey ghost, welcome! Hello everyone! Ah. doing welcome to today's stream i hope you're doing well having a wonderful day so far hopefully that works did it damn it give me a sec something's not happening that should be Oh, I know what the problem is. Give me a second, everyone. Um... My bad, I forgot to... Um... There we go. That did it. But yeah, welcome, everyone. I hope you're all enjoying your Wednesdays. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome to another Gremlin Dev Day. 
How are you all doing? Uh. Oh boy, apparently it's raining here where I am. Or meant to be. I think it is. I heard the wind pick up. That normally signifies rain here in the UK. That's a weird thing here in the UK. Like, whenever it's really windy, you're guaranteed to rain. Yeah, welcome everyone back to the Lost Souls, uh, the Mind Palace map. Um, so... Currently, it, what, I'm, what I'm working on is this little vent network here. Um, so, the vent network here is going to be a little piece of a map joining all together. These are all custom parts I made here, including the wall piece, the little vent start frame here. Just going to try something a sec. Let's turn off the magnet for a moment. No, no, what I meant to do. But uh, what is everyone up to? Uh, yeah, I think I can't turn off gizmos and stuff. Very fine micro adjustments. Okay, let's grab that, and... That should be applied across all of these uh, ones here now. Yeah, that's fair. So yeah, I, I do have a little bit of a plan today. Um, Not a big one, but some of a plan. Also, uh, on more dev type news, um, for the VRChat users. Has anyone heard about the news with VRChat? Um, about uh, latest updates. So, VRChat has been qu for quite a while using 2019, uh, 2019 versions of uh, Unity, right? Uh, let me change this to section. This is on the start section, right? No, I want this under there. Thank you. So for quite a while, been, they've been using a 2019 version of Unity. They are finally changing to the 2022 version of Unity. Um, VRChat itself is already running off this. Uh, and they're hoping to soon get the VRChat SDK to work with it as well for us that work on avatars, worlds, for all those kinds of things. Uh, so, but in a nutshell, basically soon should be... Um, Soon should be the ability to upgrade to basically the version I'm using here on stream uh, soon. The version they're upgrading to is for point three point six. Yeah, the one I'm using is a point eleven F one. So they're going back five versions from the current one I'm using, and if I'm not mistaken, that's not even the up-to-date one, uh, because if I was to go to installs, I think, yeah, there's a point twelve. So they're actually doing a good job, because last I heard they were just going to go to a new 2019 one. Um, but it seems that they going up to the current ones. Which is good, because, well, it will be a little bit of a pain to install for those that aren't used to installing, oh, I never finished this. 
uh, that aren't used to installing updates for uh, new Unity versions and stuff. It does mean that potentially performance boosts and stuff off the baseline VR chat. Uh, there are some issues coming up with it, like terrain materials and stuff, which I think people just need to upgrade uh, the terrains of those projects that use terrains. Um, that should be all it takes. Because terrain... Here's the thing with the terrain tool that people have been using. Um, in those versions, last I checked, terrain tool was very experimental. Like, I'm pretty sure it wasn't out fully. Or it was very light. On, compared to what it is now. So it just needs this little tweak. But yeah, uh, so, anyway. This is the map so far. I've got three sections. A fourth one to be built over here. Um, to the map. Uh, what these sections are will be like a little speedy... Uh, connection paths between the areas that enable the player to traverse through these areas. So far I'm going to have two vent networks. This one which in links the start area of the section that's going to be over here somewhere and this section here uh, with the main corridor here. I do have a little bit of uh, gameplay mechanics to work out, uh, but I do have a plan. The reason why you can ins look inside, by the way, is because the faces are facing the other way. So it doesn't render both sides of the face, which is a good thing, to be honest. Um, because that could cost a lot more performance power. It's not going to be daytime, so it won't matter that lights will be going through here from outside. Um, but that's a little plans for that. Hold on. Right, one of the things I do want to work on today, which is the most important thing, is um, some lights for the vents. Because I'm thinking about adding some. So, if I quickly... Right, let's rotate on the x-axis, so we will hit Rx. Then we'll scale this down to... About here, so because we want a little bit more of a frisbee. Let's indent this. Grab this side. Control. No. Control F. Grid fill. And then what we'll do with grid fill on this side is. I want to do this with it. Um. To give him a little bit more simplified look. There we go. Fast better. So what I'm going to do with this is um This is uh we're starting off with simple circle type light here. Um I'm gonna do control F grid fill here as well. I'm not going to bother with some of it. There we go, that's a bit better for me. We're going to turn on this, which will gra allow us to grab multiple um, points and drag. And we're just going to... Drag a little bit these uh, nine dot vertices here. That's better. Let me that gives us a little bit more of a um but 
The alternative is if I do just cut a circle in half and join it up, which I could do. Because hold on, uh, let me just check something with the standard um, sphere uh, cylinder. Uh, 32 vertices, radius, depth, 2. 32, cut by in half, that'll be 14. No, 11, no, 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 20. 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Yeah, so it is actually 32. Okay. Welcome back. Um, not much. I'm just quickly doing some uh, modeling. Let's grab a use sphere. sphere. Okay, there we go. There is roughly where we'll join. Got it to about the right size. Alt Z. Uh, vertices. There we go. Now we've got perfect half. Also, I do realize I cut it the wrong way. The only problem with UV spheres is that they do have this um, issue up here where they do break out of um, Let's actually solve that if I can Apparently not uh, Let's turn this cylinder off Uh, we want... There we go. That's what we want there. Is it? Yeah, that's what we want. Then we'll do the same down here. I, I don't like working with triangles, basically. They can get pretty messy pretty quickly. They they're easier in a way to work with, but if you're trying to work with um. Try and work quickly, but cleanly. As far as I'm aware, that's more where squares come in. Quads. So there you have the, um... this here. I'm just running a little experiment basically um, right now to see what I can do. Um, let's do... Da, da, da. I'm dumb actually. I just did it on the back of this, and I could have done it to, um... Right, let's grab this. Grab this edge, control fill, uh, well, alt F and then control fill. Let's split this down to this, here. Then what I can do... 
There we go. Now we just copy the same on the bottom. There we go. Now that should be a much easier slice. Give a little struggle. Also, we can flatten this a little bit. So it's not as, um... It's a little more flatter because they are these types of lights are a little bit more flatter last I checked. They're not as round. So there we go. We've got this more flatter type style while still a little bit of curve. Uh it went alright. Not much happened for me. There we go. I'm I'm much happier with this. No, I fucked it up again. Ah, I would have been better. Uh... Alright, give me a sec. Alright, first let's delete this so I don't have to keep fucking doing this. Then we'll do this. Control F, grid fill. Change this all the way down to 1. No, 2, I think it is. Yeah, 2. Then we want to, uh, other way. That way. That's the way I need it to go. Huh? Wait, how many seconds? Huh? What? Okay, there we go. Oh, I think it's be you mean because I keep saying give me a second. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. There we go. I also want to give this a different material. Uh, da da da, new material. Let's call this light bulb. We'll change this to a, um, about that color. The mission will crank it up. We'll turn it to about here. And we'll put the mission strength up to two, which will look kind of something like this. Just realize I may need to grab this and. Right, there we go. Um, we'll head back to just this standard render mode. Actually, we'll head back to this one. Also, we're going to shade smooth on this and this here. But on this one, we're going to set shade auto smooth instead. Um, we'll set this to a 45 degree angle. Not high. Actually, we'll set it to about... There we go. So what I'm going to do next uh, is Control J, that will join the two. Fair enough. I might have prematurely done that actually. One sec. Let's 
This is a, is a bucket. bucket. Dear God, there's Fred's more. Moon. No. Thanks for reading. Da, da, da. Get rid of all of these. Now we join the two. Thanks for the head pats. So what I need is to join each of these up to the this ring here. What I can basically do is just do this. Also, yes, I is the first time I've used that tool. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to use this one. Just making sure it's not so flat on the bottom. There we go. Well, I may want to move that. There we go. Like, if I wanted to make this, like, a little cleaner, what I could do is, um, use this. But then, take these two edges, for example. Uh, shift E, and drag it out a little bit. Which will reduce the smoothness there. And just give me a little bit more of, um, a sharper... Feel a little bit around certain edges. Let's do the same here a bit. Actually, you know what? We'll do Shift E, scale it down all the way on all of these. Then Shift E to. Bring them all up together a little bit. There we go, that's a little bit better. And so that's our first version of this light, by the way. The next is... Well, kind of. So... What I'm going to do as well is... I guess prioritize that for top. We're gonna uh, call this the metal. Uh, da, da, da. I know I have a little plug in here somewhere. Actually, we're going to our favorite site. That's not what I meant to do. Where is the website? There it is. This wonderful website here we're going to. 
Uh, we're gonna put metal. So we're kind of looking for something along these lines here. Which metal do you guys think I should go for these uh, lamps? I'll give a treat now, uh, once I figure out where I put a treat. Yeah, I see you looking. Why are you putting a hole in the... She's opened the curtain across my door again, a little bit. So, uh, that way there's this, like, effort. You want this? Come here, then. Go on, take it. Good girl. Come here. Come here. No. Good girl. Uh, okay, so what I think I'll go for is... That's actually a good looking one. I'm not gonna lie. Let's uh, get this up. Because uh, these are catching my attention, actually. This looks like a good one, actually. But if only the steel was a little bit darker. Okay, no worries. Right, we're going to download this one. This may screw up stream a little bit, by the way. But in the meantime... Actually, no. We will wait for this to be done. Uh, shading... Thirty eight, thirty six, thirty seven, forty four, thirty six. Sixty percent. We'll extract this. Uh... 
Uh, this is Metal 41B. Right, so what we're going to do is that we're just going to drag these in here. So this is the displacement, so this will be the color of it. Also, another thing we need to do is select all of these here. All of these here. The back plate here. Ah, that's nasty. Uh, we don't have the displacement right now. We can grab this and this. So this is the roughness here. So that goes into there. So we start to get this more, um, this is the alpha. Yeah, that looks a little better, to be honest. Well, I'm not sure. No, let's stick to, uh, color, because that's... I can fly on my glasses. Right, then we're going to drag this in here. Wish I could collapse these down a little bit. No, not that. Um... Okay, so we've got this here. Then what we need to do next is... Um... We'll go to this here. Right, first off, we're going to run a seam around here. Uh, we're going to select this here. Mark this as a seam. So that way it's not quite set like this. That should give us a split. And just like that, we already have a better... We already have a better texture, effectively, on this. That is a lot more consistent. Thanks for 
For some reason, the stream elements boss has gone AFK. So yeah, this is going to be number one out of them. And this may cause stream to lag a little bit or something. I'll show you what this looks like in cycles. This is more what it looks like in cycles uh, setting here. I want it to be as pale yellow. That seems to be a better place. So that's version one of this. Next, we're going to create a cap version. First, we're going to create this little secondary ring around here. Then we're going to take the line that's up here. I know there's a... Uh... this tool, which makes it a little easier at times. Deal with fucking fireworks again. It's okay, Fina. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing again with Merge at Distance. Right, we're gonna do this, then merge by distance. Wait, I, I realized what I did wrong there. There we go. This is what I need to do. Wait, hold on. Is that what I need to do exactly? Wait, no, I'm dumb. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to grab this here. Then I need to carefully start grabbing this here. Merge by distance. Okay, that's good. Oh, no, it's not. There we go. Now, now with, um, What I need to go do is go back into the UV editing here.
Where is that? There it is. You know, let's just select everything with this. Like, you can see how the unwrap tool can do a pretty good job all on its own at making this consistent. Athena, come here! She's not too happy right now because, uh, as you probably heard me mention, someone's at it with the fireworks. You know what, we'll actually make this a little bit more, uh... We'll make... So yeah, this is what I need to do here. I need to make the base color white. Well, that's one of the fastest ways to deal with hex colors, gonna be honest. Well, to change a color through hex, I mean. Oh, fuck. Uh... There we go. Do shift E. Because we want a little bit of a lift on here. Or, where's the treat gun? Nina! What's this? You ready? Go find it. There you go. Good girl. Yeah, the downtown or somewhere. So the sound's coming in more on my side. So yeah, that's... Uh, the great the cap version of the light next what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the um standard one the standard circle uh first thing we're going to do is change this one's uh base color down to there Then what we're going to do is save as. Because this is going to get a little interesting, to be honest. This will be left um, down, actually, to the community, this one. Uh, so you guys... With uh, what I'm up to here. The circle light isn't the only light I'm making, by the way. There's going to be a couple of us, too. Can anyone guess what I'm up to now?
Hunter will have a thickest one. Yep, two. We'll follow that same rule. Skip two. Also, we'll be sorting out the uh, little um, weirdness of this. Yep. That's my idea anyway. It's looking a little bit weird to, at the moment, but that's because I need to do some uh, little extra tweaks with it. So I should only need these bits sticking, uh, sticking out here. There we go. They're all sealed up. So I still need these red bits once more, uh, because what I've got to do here is, um... It's a little bit of cleanup with using the sub diff modifier. Like, when it comes to using the sub diff modifier... <laughs> okay, a little bit then clean up there. It can start to look a bit weird, gonna be honest. But it's always best to do it before you apply it. Do all the work you need before you apply it. So that way you're not doing with more faces. Because the key thing to remember with sub diff modifier, when it's applied, there are a lot more faces there than what you started out with. Okay, it's actually some more important cleanup. Let's get all these edges are in here. Let's actually turn this off for this.
You know what we'll do is we'll actually grab each of these. Wrong button. Welcome back, ghost. It's actually probably the easiest way to deal with some of this. Right now it just looks like one great big... Um, blob. Oh, whoops, a face I've got to deal with there. There we go. Then we need to turn on the X-ray fault mode. Grab it. Got it. So little cleanups like this are just important too. When they're Decided not to be a massive fawn on the fucking side. There we go. Like, gonna be honest, I rather have something more like this for the edges. Nice. Glad you're comfy. Uh, da, da, da. I'm just trying to get to the point where I can actually show you guys one after from this. <laughs> Why? Go, so you having another gassy day? God, I just had a terrible thought. Could you imagine if someone decided to link that up to a fart machine? Just for the extra experience. As a streamer, I'm never going to do that, by the way. But I wouldn't put it past a streamer out there to do that. Right, first let's reduce
fist down to nothing. There we go, that's a lot better. Still got some cleanup to do. Also, these ones here will get rid of the, um... So, the fun problem that I've got now to clean up is this here. Besides some of these, um... No, not that. Besides some of these, uh parts are some faces still from the joining. Hey Dad! Thank you for donating uh, uh, 10 USD to Freedom of Form Foundation. How are you? Sorry if I sound so confused then, by the way. Ah, okay. Yeah, understandable. Sorry if I sound so confused then, by the way, because I'm not used to hearing that go off. So my brain had to take a moment to process what that was. Damn it. Uh, but yeah, I hope work went well. I'm currently fighting with um, cleanup duty. Something's going on here that shouldn't be. Get rid of that. There we go, that's much better. Probably botched this up a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, understandable. Right, let's switch. That's a lot of uh, textured yellow. Right, so. First, let's get all of this. Because I think these middle parts need a little bit more anti sub diff. No. Which I don't think. This isn't working out perfect, to be honest. I, well, as good as I hope. Right, first thing I can do is I'll grab this here. Because I want a little bit more curve on that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice across. No, before I get make this too messy. One advantage of this all going to be the same material anyway. Is I can just do this.
But yeah, I'm currently working on Velociraptors. Uh, if I have some kind of total shell basket going full imprinted into a wall. Uh, no. Uh, so what this design is going to be is a um, circular light with a guard over grid guard over it. A good guess, though. <laughs> It's not the best looking grid guard. I still need to improve on doing little details like this. So it probably would have been better if I um, made the grid separate. Yeah. Because this won't be so yellow uh, once I've Done my little thing. There we go, that's them. Hey, hello! Welcome! Welcome on in, everyone! The face plot horde is incoming. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second just to do this uh, before I get. But welcome on in, Radius. How is everyone doing? My name is Shaknol5. I'm a UK streamer uh, that streams a variety of games and also game development. Uh, let me give you a shout out, Ello. Ah, fuck, my keyboard changed to UK setting. Without me realizing. It is one of the curses oh, of a little bit there. Is that was loud as fuck? You got a gun. I, I got a gun, yes. Yes, I got a gun. Why does so, that freeze one? Don't piss me at? off, because I will blast you and your bad mood away. Yay! <laughs> Sounds <Sam Smurikin. laughs> No. I think that's yeah. That could it. be. Oh god, it's freezing it. Yeah, Ello, I not gonna lie, I wouldn't trust you with a gun, but I wouldn't trust myself with one e either. Hell, I wouldn't trust myself with a bomb because I'd smack it off the nearest f surface. But how was stream? Right, how does this look? Hopefully, I've missed nothing. It's looking better. So what I'm working on here is a little uh, lamp, a uh, wall lamp to have a grid guard. <laughs> yeah, um, the problem is it's the Vito Tube Mini over in the that runs my VTuber. Whenever I hover over it, it just lights up uh, um, on the stream. Like even if my mouse is like oh down there on the right corner of my monitor. So it's a little iffy. Hold on. Uh, da, da, da. But how is everyone doing? All right, let's get this a little more. Yeah, this is the first, this is uh, one of the many variety of wall lamps I'm uh, doing. Fina, what's this? There you go. Good girl. She's got a treat. She's happy. So yeah, I'm just doing some 3D modeling, uh, trying to get the rough design I want out of this, um, out of this wall lamp here. Uh, let's reduce that little smidge. Yeah, uh, Dad, just to clarify, L is like me and also in the UK, so, uh, yeah, without gun licenses, no gun experience at all. 
Unless Elo uh, does have a gun license, I mean, that's also terrifying. VTuber goes, uh, goes on a rampage. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, we we have uh, gun licenses over here for certain types of guns. Like we we don't class them. Uh, yeah. Well, also like our gun licenses are fully cla are more classed as gun licenses rather than firearm licenses because air rifles fall under the gun category over here. You're not allowed to have them either. Last I checked. Uh, without licenses. Yeah. I, I don't know. I ask Margaret, uh, more likely to know this stuff than me. As they have actual experience with things. Uh, I will go get to see Jack. We'll go uh, do some cleaning before dinner, have fun modeling. Thank you, Ello. Also, Ello, if you want a quick glimpse, this is the map so far. And this is my own custom vent network with all little individual segments that I've built from scratch. Yeah, it is. It's why we're more known as the stab happy country than the shooty country. Because could you imagine a um an angry Brit with a <laughs> with a pistol, let alone a shotgun? <laughs> Run, because you're likely to get caught just because you didn't say thank you for holding the for them holding a door open for you. Just us Brits run, if uh, you ever see one <laughs> with one. Yeah, da da da, pings from... Yeah. Uh, our sarcasm is our primary weapon for very good reason. <laughs> Right, where was I? So yeah, um, to show the other ones, I've got this standard cap one here. Um, that looks like this. Then I have one that has a little cap. Yeah, we went to literally calling someone a sausage as an insult type route. Yeah, because also if I remember, uh, Ghost, in Australia, wasn't there like one major mass shooting and then the leader at the time just straight went, nah, no more guns. Fuck you. Yeah, I, I thought I heard that was the case. I mean, I don't blame them either. I think it's because um, you could take someone's eye out with them, I guess. Or you could load them up with anything nasty. Those are my two theories on that one. But it does sound weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Like, that's my guess for it, but... <laughs> you know, I have no idea. 
Unless someone figured out how to turn a gel gun into an ammunition firing one, which wouldn't surprise me. If you let some humans at certain things, they take it from the most innocent thing ever and turn it into a world ending thing. So you kind of want to keep them on like nuke designing rather than how to turn a pen into a sit building destroyer. Hold on, I I'm actually super nosy about this. So apparently there's two. Um. Wait, over here or in Australia? Because I I just looked at it and there's apparently two things. Apparently they're just considered dangerous in general. And then on top of that, um. No, nope, didn't want to do that. There we go. Alright, let's deselect that. Also, I want to select that. So, apparently, the two major things is that, um... Obviously, the lifelike replicas aren't allowed. And also, they're just classes dangerous in general. Oh, I made a mistake here. Uh, da-da-da... Right, let's redo this. There we go. Yeah, it's always going to come down to user operation as for Biggie. So, for anyone just joining, if you want materials like this one, this is the site I'm getting them from, which is uh, free to use. Um... Free to use the material uh, website and everything's public domain and the only thing they ask is that it would be nice um yeah thank you that you give them credit uh which if i quickly hop into the lost souls project go my asset scenes um main menu what i've done here this is a pain in the ass to work out stuff by the way because there's all kinds of legal issue you could get into if you use the wrong symbol, logo, or stuff like that. It is a pain in the ass. But I have this little uh, credit menu here that I'm, that I'm slowly adding to as I use the uh, stuff. So I have like Substance Painter, Blender, Unity... Oh, uh, the music pack that I've got inside of the game right now. Uh, the furniture that I'm using in some parts of it. So, like, I'm just trying to keep the credits uh, up to date. Yeah. Like, you don't have to, but, like, it's... Uh, on the game dev course, I was uh, on... I got taught... Um, always try and credit your stuff. Even if you don't have, even if you don't have to have the splash screens on and stuff, it's nice to do it. 
I still need to fix that right hand bar, I've realized. I meant to do that before stream. Shit. Uh, I'll do that after stream. Hopefully, if I remember. Ah. Um. But, like, it's always trying to make sure that you don't misuse or, or accidentally alter the logos. Because uh, otherwise, hell, you don't want to be chased down by a legal team. Um. Oh, I've read up on it for basic info, but would you care to explain about Freedom of Form Foundation? I can't remember off the top of my head because I told I, I briefly talked to the um the head of it the other day. Um but basically they're looking into the freedom to express uh to allow people to express themselves how they want and looking into um bioengineering i think it is kind of thing uh the obvious uh, group uh, that's on the front cover is the furry community but it's it's kind of like a whole network of things that would go down um help out all kinds of things because you never know one day it, uh furries may be a real thing uh a genetically real thing Uh, yeah. That, that's a very crude explanation, but that's because I'm very shit with words. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm very shit with words. Right, so. I'm gonna do file, save as. We're gonna go up a file. Class, and then uh, the next type of light I want to work on is a um, yes, let's do it. No, I, I can't advocate that on stream, but yes, what <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, but basically, you'll see you'll find that a lot of us are somewhat in the furry community and stuff. Whether we've just got the ears and tail, or we're just uh, full-blown floofy. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of what type of light it is that I'm thinking of. I'll just call this, uh, no. Yeah. Uh, da da da. Lights. So what my plan is here is to um. We're gonna have a little fun deleting, harvest. Also, one thing I've just realized I need to do is turn this fucking thing around. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Then what I'm going to do is object uh, apply rotation. That sets it back to that. I, I mean, you don't have to be a furry to be a part of this community. Everyone's welcome. Just we have a lot of uh, floofy people in it. We have a lot of floofy and non-floofy. The only thing I ever ask of the community is to get along and respect each other. Yeah. Scaly is included. I just say Floofy as like a general wolf will part of the fairy community. Also, I think it's a fun way to say it. So, we're going to set the size to about here. Also, we're going to add a mirror modifier. 
drag up to first on drag that down to second on the list. Uh we're gonna turn the magnet on. That's part one. Then we're gonna... You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Alright, oh, I realize what I haven't done here. Uh, let's remove this a moment. Because we don't want a middle scene here. There we go. And done. And just like that, we have this version now. Yep. Uh, the, the Space Wolves are basically a half-human, uh, half... There's Space Wolves. There's Space Marine chapter, uh, specifically. Super Soldiers are basically furries. Space furries, to be exact. That's a curse for, for all of you. Warhammer 40k has space furries. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I just realized... Hold on. Do I have an x-ray tool? Okay, there we go. Right, let's do this again. Oh yeah, uh, da da da, Maxime. I'm not going in depth on the unwrapping and stuff, by the way. I'm just doing very, the speedy option. Well, they are. They they are humanoid wolves. They are humanized humanoid wolves, which is basically uh space furries. Basically, Alex is uh, from uh, one of my parents, and she uh, means the Space Wolf Army in Warhammer 40k, the tabletop uh, side of it. Let's apply that. Right, let's redo this. There we go, that's better. But also, I want to change it to... about here. There we go. Also, uh, by having even the light area mu uh, done up, I can create some emission maps for it to create like a mucky feel for it. Right, now for the next one is to open recent. We're going to go for the standard, uh, open recent, no, uh, standard lights. Then we're going to, I feel like that's the fancy science version. Not gonna lie. It just sounds like a very long way of uh, sound in space saying space furries. Where the fuck am I going? Uh
Right, I need to do the same thing here as well. 180. Adds. There we go. Yep. <laughs> that the Emperor helped create by making it by it, it, one of his sons becoming a furry. <laughs> when what when you realize Warhammer 40k has been ahead of its genetic engineering of making furries ahead of everyone else. In the real world. That's not the one I wanted. Right, I, I have no idea how far apart I made these. Right, let's open recent and we want the cuboid cap light. Uh, about one, two, three, three tiles off from the second big line. Thanks for the hydrate. So by that, I can create the same. There we go. We'll do the same thing again of two per thing. But then join them in the center. Just to make sure that they've joined. Also tomorrow I'm pretty sure it's um Yeah. <laughs> On his uh, extreme life support. Thank you for the uh, follow, Rihanna. Why did my sound alert not go off? Is it is sound alerts having a little uh, special moment where it's craving attention? It wouldn't surprise me. No idea. Can someone test sound alerts for me, please, in a, when they get a chance? Nice argument, Senator. Why that don't you one. back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Thanks for redeeming, Margaret. Uh, right. So yeah, let's go back over to you. The editing. We want this to still be a seam here. Mark seam all unwrap. But also, we need first to apply the mirror. There we go. But how are you doing, Rayana? Open recent. We want the grids like next. This is going to be literal hell. File save as. I'll do some renaming of the files after this. Sounds like it's having issues with... Well, let me try something. What's I'm gonna get rid of that? Yes, burn it. 
Huh. Give me a sec. Uh, that's weird. Because it's not going off at all. On the uh, redeem side. All for eyes, yes, thank you. Oh, it uh, hasn't registered the last couple. Uh, give me a sec to give it one last try now that I've logged back in and authorized everything. Well, let me... That works. Sorry about this, uh, everyone. Let's try that again. No, it seems that the sound, the channel point side is down for some reason. It's not reading Twitch at the minute. Because I'm looking at the dashboard and only the uh, ones by the little extension are working. The channel points ones are not working right now. And they were earlier in stream, which is frustrating. Like, as of 39 minutes ago, they were working. Uh, let me deal with the points a moment. Uh, da, da, da. Where was that last one? Um... FBI, open up! That fucking works for some reason. Actually, that's uh, the chat one, isn't it? That's for extension, isn't it? Yeah, that's for extension. Uh, and the last one was realistic knocking. Give me a second to find it, and I shall give you your points back, Dad. Phasmophobia, bang. There we go. Reject it. There you go. You should have your points back now. I'm going to quickly clean up the redeems uh, now. So while you're doing that, I want to circle back to the furry Warhammer 40k topic. <laughs> Fair enough. Also, you should have your points back now. Uh, let's go mirror. Drag this up to the top. We're going to do Alt-Z. We're gonna fucking turn that off. Why is it mirroring on exactly both sides, huh? Oh, right, yeah, because um, I fucking did that. My bad. Right, so what we can do now is... Grab all of this, drag it to the same point, because we're trying to keep measurements relatively good. Then we turn on our little magnet here. Two, then two, then two, then the meat. There we go. Then we can turn our little grid thing off here. Start punching holes in this.
There we go. Also, I'm going to sneak one little last slice in. Nice to keep a little bit of consistency in this. If I remember, he's taken a little bit of sit back lately. Because lately, um, over on the marketing side, Games Workshop hasn't exactly been... Well, the legal team of Games Workshop hasn't exactly been the friendliest towards uh, some content creators. Yeah. Alright, let's turn this back on. Right, let's change these to the light bulb material. Then we go in here. Uh, apply the mirror. Then we go over to the UV editing side again. Uh, select all. Select all here. UV unwrap. And... Hmm. Alright, yeah. So, let's... Yeah. It can be a quite a fun universe. Just uh, if you're looking into content creation side of it, uh, watch out because sometimes they get a little bit antsy when you touch their uh, IP, apparently. I mean, they can do whatever they want with it. It's their IP. No one can stop them from doing whatever they want with it, of course. But like they get a little extra antsy, like a bunch, like luckily, some of the content creators have been hired by them, like the person who made the Astartes um animation series that went wild, and um. Fair enough. <laughs> By the way, uh, Dead, have I shown you what this looks like with the uh, good lighting mode on? Here we go. Looks a little bit more stylized here. This is roughly what it looks like. Now, here's the thing what I could do for when it comes to turn this into an actual light on both grid versions. What I could do is join the mesh up on the inside of the grid. So that way what I can do on the inside is create this like buffer effect for the lights to generate a grid um, pattern. Which might be a smart idea, thinking about it. Because right now... If I was to put a light on the inside of it, the light would just pass straight through from one side to the other. So what I would need to do is also to help with the marking of this.
So these need to all be blue. Uh, when looking at it from this side. This way, if I put a light in here, it will block... Um... This is going to take me a little bit of uh, time. This is where the game, the environmental game dev side of me is starting to think now. Like, how am I going to create this light? Um, I don't need to do anything to the back of these uh, light panels here. But what I do need to do is work out what I'm going to do for the back of the metal ones. To get good lighting generated without too much hassle. What I can probably also do. Nah, let's not bother actually. What I'll do as well is just create the scene. This may fuck me over a little bit. Because what I do want it to do... Actually, no. Think about it. We don't need a grid pattern going... I'm over complicating this, actually. Think about it. We don't need to go that fancy. And also, most of the time, these lights are built in a way where the grids will not affect the light, light too much. If anything, there'll be a duller light. Because that's normally what happens with these uh, light guards. Let's not overcomplicate it. Keep it simple. So this is how you can tell which side is going to be rendered when you dump it into Unity. Or Unreal Engine or anything. The blue side is the side that will get rendered. The red side isn't. Unless you tell in like the newer versions of Unity. Not sure how it works in Unreal. Uh, to render both sides, which genuinely isn't a good idea. Got two little strays there. Any more strays around here? Yes. Any on the top? So this is going to be a little question put out in the shadow cave of whether, like, uh, this light is preferred, or uh, if I go over to it. Give it a sec. This light is preferred. Kind of thing. So there will be two categories I'll put out. Circle or cuboid, and then which one out of the three. Um... I'll put a poll out in the server, probably on Twitter too. Um, it's going to take a couple days for me to... Um, <clears throat> so that way I can categorize it down to shape and pattern. Like whether it's just a roll little light uh, or something else. I'll do that uh, later. What I'm going to do at the moment is quickly rename all of those uh, things. Uh, luckily, I have things somewhat organized. It's still a dumpster file on my external, but it's better than what it could be. Like, not gonna lie, these are all little projects I have <laughs> all here. And also, if I end up good enough, I may do uh, something with them uh, further. Da -da -da, da -da -da. You okay, Fina? What's the matter? She's, she's still looking grumpy right now. 
So I need the lost souls in here. Uh, da da da. Lights, bent lights. So let's do some renaming. I can ignore these blend one files. I'll give a treat in a sec once I've renamed the last one of these. It's just if they're consistent, then I do not need to think about this crap when importing them. Here you go, Fina. Good girl. I see you guys in your frisbee, madam. He's got one paw over her floppy frisbee. Don't you? Where's your frisbee? Yeah, it's right there. You wanna pass it to me? Can I have it? Looks like I'm gonna have to play with her later. She's uh, loaded with energy. Bring it here. <laughs> Jesus, Fina. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play with her later. <laughs> okay, that one's named right. We'll move. Um, I wonder if this works. No, it doesn't. Crap. I was trying to see if I could do something, uh, but the answer is no. Do control X and control V. It is so useful knowing the control X, control V keys, uh, what they do. So yeah, now I can continue with this. Okay, no worries. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll play for the game part of stream, but I shall think of something. Uh, these all need to be under vent section. You see you, Margaret. What are you doing, Athena? The one thing I'm so uh, at is level design, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm not the best at it. Like I can build levels and stuff, but designing them is not my strongest suit. Right, okay, yeah, there is something else I need to make, uh, Blender side. For this. Uh, da da da. What I need actually is if I hit open, go up high enough. Structures. It ended up being in here, I think it was. Yes. Event start. That's what I need here. No, that's not it. Um, open. This piece here. What I need to do is... Right, first I'm going to save this as vent entrance rim. Call it that. Then I'm going to make a new one called vent gate. So what I'm going to do for this vent gate is first I'm going to take this uh, little edge here. I'm going to hit shift D. Scale it down a little bit. Uh, we're going to hit P to separate by selection. Um, we're going to go out of edit mode. We're going to keep the rim around for a little bit. 
So what we're gonna rename this to is Vivent Gate. Hi, Athena. So first off, uh, what I need to do is select these, invert them, because currently they're facing inside, not outwards. Which is not what I need. Then we're gonna scale them this way. We're gonna do uh, control B. No, just B is it? I can't fucking remember. Okay, there we go. Then we're going to do another shifty to duplicate. Scale down on this axis only this time. Hi, Fina. Shit. Just gonna search these up carefully. I have a couple of little ideas for this. Uh, vent p gates piece here. I'm gonna rename the folder of these old satin, by the way. Oh yeah, everyone, um, as of tomorrow, I might have a new Wraith flavor. Um, well, not new, but one that I haven't had in a while. So I'll be drinking uh, the flavor I'm getting tomorrow for a bit. Right, also, actually, before I forget, let's do this. So the reason why I'm keeping it down this far underneath this is that I want this to be... Um, Crap, uh, da, da, da. do the same there. But seeds, there we go. It's so I want it to be just easily placed, which is about 1.5 uh, Y. Instead of mirror there, we're going to mirror on the Y axis. There we go. This will make our life a lot more easier. Then we're going to hit it with a shade auto smooth to keep the edges, but get a nice um, smoothness in these corners here. So here's where the interesting part comes in. Hmm. That's uh, again this to uh, grid fill up, which is why I had in mind originally. I don't want it to normal fill, I want it to grid fill. There we go. That's much better. So, the key sizes uh, we're going to do across here, obviously. Then we're going to start. Um, Shaping uh, a little bit because I want this to be like a central piece in it. Uh, here. Then we're gonna lower this to here. To be honest, what I'm better off doing actually is. God fucking damn it. Apply rotation, thank you. Right, there we go. It's deleting all of this. You'll see why in a second. Um, and turn on the X axis. Uh, 
Uh, Alt C. There we go. And what also I can do for now, uh, it won't do later on, but for now what I can also do is... Would normally be able to do is this. I just remembered something. Uh, let's actually set the origin to geom. No. Thank you for the follow, Sam Jivian? I think that's how I say your name. How are you? Hold on, have I missed another follow somewhere? No, actually, that adds up. Sorry. I, I thought I missed another follow. Right, what we'll do for now is move this up. But how are you doing, uh, Sam? So yeah, this is what I want to do here. So, so that gives me a little nice um, opportunity to start working corner only on this. Right, first up, what I want to do is insert this. But instead of this being... Uh, we're going to delete this edge here and this edge here. Oh, whoops, I'm an idiot. It's both of these here. I need to... Delete the edges. Peanut, you know, what are you doing? Welcome back, ghost. How are you doing? There we go. That's better. Yes. I know you want to stay up uh, all night, but I do hope that you manage to get some uh, good sleep after stream. So what I'm designing here is a little uh, gr gate system. Well, not system, but, you know, uh, design. We'll get a little bit thinner around here because why not? So 
So if I tie these to here, then delete the faces, we already have a lot of a uh, fan system. What I think I'll do though um, is. I don't re think about it. I don't really want a. Um... Vent network on this column here. What am I on about that network? Uh, beam here. So what I'll do is just very carefully. Actually, I don't need to go down here. Do this. Also, what I can start doing is dissolving as well. So if I stitch them up, then dissolve them. Oh. We can still get a relatively clean mesh out of this. I've also got to make sure that I'm dissolving the edges, not anything else. You know, let's actually, um, make this a little bigger, shall we? Actually, no. Right, we'll do that there. Team right up there. Wait, IKEA? Huh? Some of it, uh, by the way, is kind of like working out roughly what you want to do with stuff. You know, it's not easy to have everything you want set out in stone. Also, I can dissolve that. Also, I can uh, delete this one and this one. The fun part about this one, though, is that you'll have this issue here. that should be done. Now that should enable me to very cleanly get rid of that. Alright, yeah, that needs to be there. Yeah, it looks like we've got some issues here. Shit.
Actually, I'm dumb. I, I could have saved the whole issue with uh, here. One sec. I, I just really am that dumb sometimes. Right, what we'll do then is grab these. That one doesn't matter, this one does. There we go, that's that part fixed there. It's this part here that needs the, um... Needs this. There we go. That makes that bit a little bit easier. No, fuck it. Mm. Why well, just come out of the uh, bloody x ray mode? So, Ghost, what are you up to currently? Also, I can do this shit. So, the reason why I wanted to do that is, what I can do is, hit control B. And do this. So now we've got our rough uh, grid here. Yee. Then let's hit apply. Then we can grab the whole thing and move it back down to its former location down here. Because now we've got the corners uh, matching. Also because I would very much like to. We'll actually bring the mirror modifier back in a second thing about it. Let's get rid of this. Oh god, that's a whoopsie. Thanks for the hydrate. Uh, Ghost, also, by the way, um, the channel points sound alerts don't seem to be registering at the minute. Uh, so you can do the channel points through the little extension, pop out extension. But um, not currently through the main way but like that way you can't uh do it i don't know why it's broken just that it's decided to break and it's annoying Uh, let's reject them and accept them. By the way, we are one legit one follower off from doing our 12 hour stream. Unfortunately, no. Um, hopefully, it'll start working by next week. Not next week, tomorrow. I want it working tomorrow. I don't know why it's not registering. 
Because I looked at the dashboard and they're not registering on the dashboard. The uh, sound alerts dashboard, which is infuriating to be honest. Right, let's grab this. We want the uh Also just to confirm that these are all in the center. There we go. Because what I want to do is, uh, whatever I do on one side, replicate it to the other. The best way to do this, and the best way to do that is through here. First, I want to add this little, like, edge in here. So we get a nice little trim thing. I'm not doing uh, the sub diff one for this, by the way. Not that I'm aware of. So as you can see, there's now this like little edge around everything. To be honest, I really wish the bucket one was too, but uh, it's frustrating. Right, where I need to go is, oh yeah, I forgot that I pinned that. Then if we go up one, let's actually pin this too. There we go. Da, 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 the mental for you and B. So we're gonna go over to shading like before. Uh, we're gonna grab the material here. Uh, da, da, da. I'm gonna start dragging these in. Metalness, uh, da, da, da. that's for metalness there, that's for roughness, and there's for normal. So we're going to drag this in. Uh, da, da, da. This is the colour here, so we'll drag that into base colour. Then the metallic, uh, which is about here. My only worry is that the rust is not showing up right now. Like you'll see, you see all of this stuff appearing. That's the only thing that's appearing right now. And the reason why is literally everything is in that one tiny corner. Hmm, that's interesting. It's still warped in places. So what we'll do is that we'll create... A... Uh, we'll mark the seam here. And we'll also create the split here. Let's try this now. Hmm. Interesting. Not what I meant to do. Mark seam. Uh -huh. 
actual fuck is going on? Like, I would assume I would need to do something like this. This. Give me a second, everyone, while I try and figure this out. Hmm. This is frustrating. Okay, what if I apply the mirror? Uh, let's clear the seams. Clean up, delete loose. Give a fuck. Right. So yeah, let's split this again. Uh we'll mark this as sharp. No. We'll mark this as sharp. Mark that as sharp. Let's try this. Hmm. Okay, that's what that did there. The trick is to not give yourself too much work to do when it comes to the whole manual editing of this. Okay, not gonna lie, this part is seeming pretty clean right now. Hold on a minute. Just realized something here. All I need to do to fix these little shits. is tell them to subdivide and then they'll be classed as quads again that's the lucky thing about uh dealing about this particular triangle situation all you gotta do is subdivide them they gain in the in the middle that's now two lines instead of one and it's now quads instead of triangle Uh, not gonna lie, I want this to be 
Not marked out. Can not do this. Hmm. The problem is definitely uh, around here. Right, got a little method for this uh, in my head. Unless I just, hmm. Just making sure here that everything is selected on the other side too. How is everyone doing that by the way? Right, uh, da, da, da. right, yeah, I need to be in this view. Mark seam. Adds in three minutes, everyone. The problem I'm still facing is this bit here. It's all work of a UV unwrapping part. Sometimes it's simple, sometimes it's not. This is one of those it's not simple moments. Yeah, the idea behind this is that this is going to be sat, um... Down here. No. Curse it's selected. Sort origin... Yeah, uh, da da da. Wait, no. Because it's like. There we go. Then I can just send the Curse of Black to the World Orange in there. So what this, that Origin being there enables me to do is turn this into a um, swinging gate here. And it's much more easier than just assigning a parent to uh, objects, moving it to a place and what and then rotating the parent object by doing this this is already pre-set up for me to just use this as a, something that opens so the idea is that it will open to 90 degrees to there player can now go through it um but otherwise it's going to be sat like this 
whether it stays open or not, I'm not sure. But basically, as well, to help deal with the issue of the collider, I'm just going to deactivate the mesh collider when the, when the gate is uh, unlocked. That way you don't need to think about it again. <clears throat> you my head off. So that's going to stay inside of these here. Also, another thing I'm going to do is go over to here, external assets. What do I mean? Metal 41B. Folder. Metal 41B. So in here, we're going to create two things. First, we're going to create our material uh, ball itself. Point one B S G mat. That's what we're gonna call it. Then we're gonna use our trusty shader graph to create a URP lit shader graph and we're gonna call it Metal 41 B S G for the shader graph itself. So let's get rid of this. Don't know why we have that tab put built into Unity anymore on the default layout. When um it doesn't work anymore. Vector two, we're gonna call this tiling and uh, we're gonna create a tiling one. Then a offset. Then we're going to get the tiling and uh, tiling and offset thing. We're going to plug this into here and this into here. This will help us scale all of our materials at once. Welcome back from the ads, everyone. So we're going to put that into there, then that into there. We're going to drag this normal map in. We're going to add an add here. Fuck. You know what, let's just delete it. The actual fuck? Oh yeah, as well, go set this to normal. Uh, because it is normal math. Uh, da, da, da. All right, we want this to plug into there. Fuck us up with a shader graph. It's not normally this fucky. Something's going on. That's weird. Let go of the fucking thing! Okay, what's going on? You stop saying stuff can't be null. Discard. Right, that. Normal map. Apply. Save the whole damn project. Actually, what I'm going to do first is make sure everything in here is actually up to date. Fine, that's...
laser then? Right, will it now allow me to do shit? Right, we want the basic ad. There we go. Thank you. Then we want normal strength. Then what we're gonna... Actually, I'm an idiot. Uh, give me a sec. We're going to create a float here, uh, normal strength. Right, let's uh, slap this into the normal, this one into the base. Um, this one gets slapped into both of these here and here. Claps both of them. Right, plug that into there. Because, yeah, that's roughness mouth. I may have to invert this, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, because if you see here, it's way more shiny on the rust, which is not how it should work. So we're going to slap this through an inverter. Okay, this is actually getting somewhat fucking... Ridiculous. You know, I'm actually going to try something. Give me a second, everyone. Maybe because the project was open for like three hours without me actually doing anything really in it. It happens sometimes. Right, now let's try this. Right, we've already got the normal map here. Uh, we'll slap that in. Slap that into there. I will also order this to be a lot better. We're also going to drag the normal down to further down the list. Still need to check what ambient occlusion does. Because I'm not entirely sure, to be completely honest with you. Right, so we have the roughness here. What this should go out into is an invert. But the problem is, for some reason... 
they seem to be breaking. I'm just regenerating these because this is sometimes one of the ways to fix all of these. Right, then let's hit generate. Well, it's doing something. I save every so often. I don't normally have this problem, I'm not gonna lie. Just today seems to be the day where it's like, ah, fuck you. Right, this is a metallic. Right, save that. Next up, the smoothness. Let's try this again. And it broke again. Delightful! Right, so th this being the um, right, I can get rid of this one actually. So this is the important one here. We're gonna do an invert colors spawn it in on itself, like that. Then we can collapse this one here. We're just going to invert everything. What this should do for us is on the rust areas. If I can control things correctly, give me a sec. If I was smart, I would actually color code everything as well. Well, uh, group code, everything. So, here you go. You've now got this lot more nicer, uh, smooth on one part material. Not so smooth on the rust, which is how it should be. Um, unless the material is set up to deal with, um, Unity, uh, specifically, you will quite often find that you have materials that, um... The roughness will be translated the opposite way, because it's looking for smoothness, not how rough something is. It's a little annoying little aspect of a... Uh, you see, can I group this? So yeah, this is another thing you can do here. Not sure if you can, uh, da da da. Can't 
Hello code. I I wish you could. Be a nice little thing. So yeah, this is a little thing you can do with uh it's you can kind of like group uh things up, so you can deal with them a lot easier. But anyway, what I need to do is to test this on this ma this material here. So we're changing that material to match the shader here. So we're going to start doing this. Okay. Wait, what are these set to currently? So these don't have any... Right, okay, I think I see the problem that I'm suffering from here. So if I was to go into here, uh, let's go into... This one here. Let's go into the UV editing. Yeah, see, this is the problem I have throughout it. What I'm going to do here is add a seam here. Right, then what I can do is unwrap. Hmm. Not what I needed. This is the frustrating part, when, um, it doesn't quite work out how you wished it did. So this is likely going to be something that's going to take up the rest of my damn day. Ah! You know, let's get all the Y positions first done. So, what I'm doing, uh, just to explain to you all, uh, to get them all to line up, is I'm pressing S to scale, then the axes, then zero. That gets them all on the same one. Like, then for this one, I'm doing the Z axes here. I knew I would have to do UV work on them, but I didn't know that the UV maps were kind of fucked. Right, let's head over to shading. You know, actually, no. Uh, what we'll do is... No. Horizontal split. We'll get this in.
Because what I can do is drag these all the way over here. You can see down the far end there how it's starting to line up a little bit. We'll actually use the outside for this because um, it's just the other side of the face and it's a little easier than trying to just peek down there. So this is the little scene here. So you want a little bit for it, but not too much. So I'm just trying to keep a level of consistency throughout this. Because, um... Like, for example, if I was to... Grab this here, you can kind of see how... faces behave because these are as far as I'm aware these other ones are under here yeah these are the thin ones so they're gonna want to be thinner than these anyway sometimes because it can go a little bit weird in blender not gonna lie so we'll move this over here a little bit That's actually a good side. I'll think I'll drag it over a smidge. We'll drag this one to about here. Drag these two a little bit closer. I think that's a lot better. The fun part about this though is that I've got to go and play it to literally every single one. Ah, I got an itchy back. That's not good. So yeah, this is the joy that I've got to go through with every single one of these. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that around. Right, we're going to export this one. We'll sort this by uh, date modified and go through the list. So this is craft started. That means our next one is right here. Horizontal split. Shade, you are not new. Also welcome. How are you? This. Oh, now it's working. Really sound Now There's it's working. More. No. I'm miffed. Thanks for the stretch and the head parts and positive check. Welcome to the land of the gremlins. How are you? God damn it, Shade. I mean, thank you, but also god damn it. Uh, give me a second to quickly just... Uh, do, do, do. Oh yeah, Shade, I've got some lights to pick from. Um... Later, if I'm gonna put into the server and on Twitter, we are going to be in the event network. Right. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's for ten squats done. But uh, how's gears five? Because I'm pretty sure I saw you live with that. Why is that not? All right, yeah. So problem, same problem again. Everything for some reason is wrapped up. Yee. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot I did uh, stick my nose in for a moment. It was, uh, I know Nima raided out to you. Right, let's do the same again. Actually, I should have. Pro uh, fuck, I'm an idiot. Not sure, she's not appearing in the mods list yet. Right, UV constraint to image bounds. Oh, wait, do you. Sorry, I just realized. Uh, the mode bun, um. My brain's a little numb right now. The motor button's still in the works. I'm just working on um, the game today. Because the motor button's more like a off-stream project. So for now, I'm doing some UV editing. Which you'll see the effects of it, uh, the image moving over there. Okay, now we're coming up to the split. A very interesting split, I my add. So this is the uh, fun part here with this uh, model. Which face is that? Okay, that's the face. So these two need to. This needs to actually be somewhat. Um, what I'll actually do here is I'll mark seam here. This will actually cost me a little bit more work to do, but worth it. Right, drag that down there. Then we're going to drag this one to about here. There we go.
s y then zero because we actually want these to all be lined up s y zero s y zero Uh, grab this one and this one. Drag them down a little bit. There we go. S, Y, 0. Drag that down. We'll actually drag that to there. S, X, 0. S, Y, 0. Drag that to the top. This is something I've got to do for every vent segment to get the textures working on it. Like, the vent textures don't matter if you're not planning on having details on them and just want them pretty much flat. But that's not how I want mine. So this is just a job that I can get done before I get too far along. Like, it's very simplistic, yet awkward job. Like, yeah, sure, there's um, softwares out there that enable you to paint textures onto models and stuff. But this is how you s make sure that your paint job, uh, when you go to do that step, if you choose to use a software like that, it helps guarantee that you're not going to end up with a weird mess. Right, we'll place one there. We'll place one here. Hmm. So what are you up to now, Shade? I don't think it's a bad thing about the material splits here because it kind of gives that appearance that it's been welded here. Which might actually be a good thing. Because I would imagine two pieces like this are welded in a way such as that or something like that. I would imagine. But I have no idea in reality. See? Right, next piece. Fuck! I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Ah, fuck. Right, this is our next one here. My brain hurts from all this. <laughs> ah!
Right, I'm gonna do the same thing again, but it's gonna be a little more awkward. Actually, I'm not sure where to stick the seam on this. <clears throat> I might actually wrap up soon. Um, because how long have I been going for? I've been going for three hours. I just want to keep working on this. I'm not really in a play mood right now. Okay, let's do a seam like there and see how... No, mark seam. Right, okay, we'll do two seams then. We'll do the other one along here. That works out shit. You know, I, I think I know what I'm going to do. Mark seam there. Oh, man. No sewing seam. Okay, yeah, that's just the way that's working out. Okay. Okay, yeah. Now we've got the uh, individual pieces here. This will be the last one I'll probably do before I wrap up the stream, gonna be honest. Right, S, Y, zero. Uh, we're also gonna constrain to image bounds as usual. The reason why I do that is that it helps me keep everything in one place. So we'll put that one about there, we'll put this one about here. Whoops. S X zero. S X zero. S X zero. Oh wait, uh I'm dumb. Yeah, that's all of that sorted out. Because these are actually wider, uh, slimmer on these edges, because like the coming parts, we're gonna do that, and we want these to be about the same size as well. It's gonna be a rough guess, though. The joys of eyeballing this stuff.
Actually, let's do this for now. To me, it's doing this is probably way faster than what I've been doing before. Then we'll grab this. This. Like, here's... The great thing about doing this for objects. Objects objects and structures can be quite simple in their structures. You get into humanoids. Yeah. That's where the terrifying stuff comes in. Well anything living actually thinking about it. Because they tend to have the most complex meshes. So then if the UV model is not the same, the UV mapper is person doing, dealing with the UV maps, is not the same person as the 3D modeler, then you've got Nightmare Fuel Heaven, especially if the artist is not the same person as the other two. Because then your job as the UV mapper is to bridge this gap between the potential hellhole that is the UV map. And the uh, delightfulness of um, the art, the artist who is gonna bite your head off because you did a shit job, which then in turn gives you pretty much permission to bite the um, 3D modeler's head off because you know it's just a whole cycle. Right, I'm happy with that for now. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave stream here and continue working off stream. Um, so. Today is Wednesday. Who's live? Let me check out that stream at some point. Want to catch him live? Uh, da, da, da. We're going to read out to Tolk. Who is suffering. Oh no, he's not about to enter Blight Town, is he? Okay, he doesn't have the key yet, um, so it looks like he's going for the Gaping Dragon. Okay, heads up when we're raiding Tolk. Don't tell Tolk anything. Um, he's got no backseating, no spoiler. He's fairly strict around that. Uh, only if he asks for help on telling him stuff. I've told him stuff uh, before, but that's stuff that I know that he's done. Just like giving him a little bit more information around what he's being able to do but anyway we are going to leave stream here thank you everyone for joining me today thank you everyone for the follows uh we are literally one away from hitting our 200 followers and uh, doing our 12 hour stream um oh that's seriously my last prediction was uh Dark Souls 1? Um, da, da, da. Right, yes. So, I'm going to raid out to uh, Tolk. Um, if you're new around here, feel free to check out the Discord server and everything else inside the link tree, which includes my YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and game pages. If you're watching over on YouTube, thank you for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Um, feel free to check out all the stuff. If not, feel free to... Um, uh, check them out whenever you want because it'll always be in the bounce section below here in my little panels. Um, also, 
What? Elude me once more. So, uh, yeah, um, probably to check all of them out. Also, I am partnered with, uh, um, uh, not partnered, affiliated with Wraith. Uh, feel free to check them out. Um, the energy drink company, a bit like Gamer Subs and all the others. I've been using them for a couple of years now. And they seem to be, and they've not let me down yet. Um, also, they've currently got going on a coffee, uh, limited time edition. Um, that is... Pumpkin spice flavored coffee, a vitamin based blend, and the same amount of caffeine as at, at powdered energy drinks do. So, if you want something warmer for the winter that is upcoming, feel free to check that out. Uh, you can use my code JACKIN52023 for that if you want to get anything. Um, I think it's 10% off, if I remember correctly. With that being said, uh, we're gonna read out. Here's the, that's the message there. The gremlins have escaped. Use it to let Tolk know that you're from here. And um, thank you all for watching. And I shall see you all tomorrow for pretty sure it's War Thunder. See ya.